ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event! Let's get ready to rumble! Y'all ready for this? Hi everybody, it's Doreen and welcome back to the last day of my Father's Day card series. Now, I've decided that I'm going to cut down on how many cards that I make throughout the year because I start getting burnt out at the end of the year. So, my series for um, Mother's Day was only three cards and the Father's Day card series is only going to be three as well. And I am going to be using the Silhouette. So, let me show you what today's card looks like. This is the card that we will be making and it opens up like so and I put the words Happy Father's Day. So come on and join me and I'm going to show you how I made this card. Okay everybody so let's get started with getting our image out on the mat so we can get this card laid out and then we'll put it together. So now, the file that I'm using, I got from the Silhouette store, and I've already downloaded it to my library. So I'm going to go to my library, and I've created a folder called Father's Day, and the card is inside there. So this is the card that we will be making. So we're going to go ahead and just double click it, and we're going to add it to our mat. So now, I'm going to keep this the size that it comes in as and the size is the width is 8.82 and the height is 9.55 so that comes out to be the size that I want for the bifold card so now what I want to do is I want to lay everything on my mat so I can get my tie to be a different color on the outside because this portion of my card right here is going to cut in one color and then I'm gonna have my tie cut in a different color so to separate this, you can leave it the same the way you want and line your paper up on your mat this way, but I like to separate so that I can lay my pieces out on the mat. So I would go ahead and just click the image and then right click and click ungroup or you can go ahead and go down to the bottom here and click your ungroup. So now we're going to put this piece over here and then I'm going to go ahead and group all of this back together so that I can move it around on my mat. So I've highlighted it and now I'm going to right click and I'm just going to click group. So now all that pieces should be grouped together so I can lay those like so and then I can take if you want, you can take a 12 by 12 sheet of paper because that's how my mat is set up and cut that out first. Or you can cut your paper across here and then lay your another sheet of paper down to be the color that you want your tie. So now what we want to do is we want to get the Happy Father's Day that I want to put here in the center of my card so that when it closes and then opens up, you'll see the Happy Father's Day. Now back on day two's card, I gave you the link to a studio file that has several Happy Father's Day on it. So if you go ahead and go back to day two, you'll see where I got that. But I'm actually going to put the link to that in the bottom on the description bar of this video. So I've already downloaded the file and we're just going to go ahead and open it up and my file is in a folder that I have called phrases and it's happy father's day studio so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and that's gonna open up in a separate mat now as you recall before we discussed this where this is all grouped as one so in order to separate this you cannot right click and click ungroup because it is grayed out so what you'll need to click is the release compound path and what that does is it separates each one so that you can now pick the one you want and add that to your card 
So we're going to use this Happy Father's Day right here. So what I want to do is I'm going to group each of the words so that I have them. And then that way I can lay them the way I want on my mat. So I'm just selecting the word, right click, and then I'm clicking group. And then we'll go ahead and do the last one. Right click and click group. So now each one of these is set up the way I want. So I'm just gonna right click and click copy. And we'll go back to our card and let's put it back on our mat. And then we're just gonna paste. And then it's going to, or you can click and drag and place it where you want. So I'm going to do the same thing. Now what I could have done is just grouped everything together and then did an ungroup once I had all of the words on the mat. So you can do it either way, however you want. And I'm going to keep the size that it's coming in at when I copy it from the other. We may have to do a little resizing. And then again, we may not. So let's drag this here. So now, what I want is I want a shadow behind the Happy Father's Day. So I am going to go ahead and we're going to move this out the way so I can just group this all together. So we're going to click group or highlight and you can, as I said before, I sometimes go down to the bottom and click group and sometimes I right click. Either one will work, with, it's whatever your preference is. So now I have this all grouped as one. Now to make my shadow, I want to click the offset window right here and then I'm going to click offset. So now what that does is put a shadow behind my Happy Father's Day. Now I don't want it that wide, so I'm going to just go ahead and just keep going in until I get it about like I want it. And we're going to go down just a little bit more, and then maybe up. So I'm going to set it at 0 0.095. And then I can go ahead and remove this, and then I'll have this. And if you want to group it together, you can. It really doesn't matter because when you go to cut this out, it's going to cut separate anyway. So you do it however you want. I'm just going to go ahead and group them for now so I can move them out of the way. And we'll move this back on top of here. And I can go ahead. And this is just for design purposes. You don't have to do this. And we'll group all that together. And then we'll go ahead and bring our card back and add that to the center and it looks like we need to take it down a little bit because as you can see it's right on the edge of the fold so it's a good thing that I did go ahead and group it all together so from here we can just take and you can take your handles and just go in and now I have it the size that I want so if you want the actual size that this ended up coming out to be the width is 4.015 and the height is 3.525. So that's it everybody. So this is how our card is laid out. So go ahead, download the file from the Silhouette Store, add all the pieces to your mat, and then as I said before, I'll include the link to the Happy Father's Day wording and you can go ahead and lay that out on your mat as well. Cut it out and then meet me back at the table. Okay, everybody, so now that we've gone ahead and cut everything out, let's go ahead and put this card together. So this is going to be quick to put together because the Cameo did most of the work. So we're going to fold our card on our tick marks that we have. Now, I know some people don't like those, so if you didn't put those on your mat, then you can go ahead and score using your um, Martha Stewart scoreboard or whatever way you do or use for your scoring. 
So now up here at the top we've got some score marks and that's basically to make your collar. So we're going to score along there on both sides. So I'm just going to fold this back and score like so. And then that folds like that. And then what you'll do is you're going to take your tie and fold that down and score that. So your card folds like so. Let's make sure we get this right. Because this fits, there's a little slit in there and your tie is going to fit down inside that little slit. So it'll fold like that and then like that. And then you just go ahead and take that and score that. And that's basically the front of the card. Now remember, we cut out a separate piece for our tie. And I cut it out using this paper. And this paper is from a paper pack. That is called Stone Wash and it's by Paper Studios. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. So I like this paper pack because it has a lot of um, paper in here for doing male or masculine cards. So that is going to go on top of here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this back up again and take this out and take that out. And I was a little rough there when I took that piece there. And we're just going to put this on here. So what I'm going to use, I think, is I'm going to just use some glue because this is textured cardstock on this side. And this is just paper or printed paper on the other side. So I'm just going to get some glue along here and then we're going to glue that on top. Because I really want that to stay and I don't know if it would with the Tombow or the two-way zig pen. So I'm just going to lay that down and I get a little, I got a little wiggle room here because I'm using the glue. So we want to make sure we get the, get that straight on there and the air bubbles out. So there. So now we will once again fold in and Press that down in there. And then you have your folded card. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my embellishments that I'm going to put on here. And we're going to add the Happy Father's Day. And I'll be back with the finished card. Okay, everybody. So I am back with my finished card. So what I've done is I went back because I didn't like the way the collar came out. It was just plain like the card itself. So I went back and I did that feature that I showed in Days 2 card where I took and laid out another card and then I just cut off the pieces just for the collar. And if you want to know how to do that, you can go back to Day 2 and I show you how to use the knife tool in the Silhouette software. The other thing that I did was I went ahead and made a pocket from the studio file that comes or actually that I made my envelope with from day two as well and then I took my white um, uniball pen and did some stitching around the pocket and then I went ahead and added some of these they're called candy along here to act as like buttons on my tie and then down here at the bottom, I've stamped out the word Happy Father's Day. And then I've also gone ahead and stamped out You're the Best. Now, what I want to point out to everybody is sometimes when you do cut those um, tick marks, they make your paper, your paper um, where it may tear because it actually is doing a perforation. And that's what happened to mine. Mine tore off the back. So I had to improvise um, when I'm putting my card together. So what I did was I just took and put some double 
sided tape up under my collar and stuck my tie up under there and then I ran some tape along the edge of the card and taped down one side of the tie so that when you open it it opens like this and then inside I've put the happy Father's Day so that's just something I wanted to point out to everybody that's the first time that's ever happened to me and I think it was because I was really pressing down very hard on that perforated edge there which is really not supposed to be a perforated edge. It's supposed to be your tick marks for you um, to fold your card. So just want to point out to be careful when you are folding your tie forward. And then I went ahead and made another envelope. I've stamped out the Happy Father's Day and I Love You on the front. And then if you flip this over, I've gone ahead and made the envelope using some um, paper... And let's see, I'm not sure what paper pack I got this from. I believe, oh, this is the paper pack it came from. It is called the Me and My Big Ideas Value Pack. And it looks like this. And this is the paper that I used right here to make my tie. And then I went ahead and use another candy. Now I didn't have any blue ones, so what I did was I just went ahead and took my big market pans and colored that in to get the color that I wanted. Now on the next video, I'm going to show you how I made this envelope because this is a studio silhouette online store envelope. So that's it everybody. This is the last card of my series. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.